Now let's learn about data map and collections. You can create a data map, which is a logical view of all the data assets that you have in the organization. And data map is a umbrella of all the collections that exist in Azure Purview. On the right side, this canvas show you the data map. And on the left, you can access this data map from the second option. Once you access this data map, you get different options that we explored in the last session. And now you, if you have to create a new collection under the data map, you can go to collections. Right now we have this root collection. So we will create a sub collection under this. I will click on new collection and I will write any name. Let's say I'm creating the purview uh, sessions for one demo uh, organization. And that organization has a department known as human resource. I will name this as human resource collection and I will give the collection admin names. Uh, for now, I will give my name and create. Once this is created, and now we can see that this human resource collection has been created under our root collection that was PView Demo Dev. One important point to note here is once you have created a collection, the name of the collection cannot be updated later on. If you click on the edit option here, you can edit the description or change the collection admins, but you cannot change the collection name anymore. I will click on cancel and right now there is no description as of now. Let's add that quickly. Human resource department collection in demo organization and click on save. The description has been added now and you will also see the collection path because in any uh, practical organization or the, a real organization, there can be a very huge data map. So it is easier to navigate on this collection path and see where is your collection for any department or the domain or for any specific data source. Now the assets are zero, data sources are zero and everything is empty right now because we will now register any source and scan the data uh, source in that specific collection. One more thing to note here is, but this human resource is a sub collection of the root, but you can also create a, a collection under a sub collection as well. If I click on this human resource and click on new collection, it will create the hierarchy of collections. Let's see that. So human resource, we will name it as test collection one. So it will create this test collection one under human resource collection. And I'm this time I'm not giving any collection admins because by default, it will inherit my name as the collection admin from the Azure purview portal. Since I am the admin of this account. Now this test collection one has been created under human resource. So you have to make sure when you are creating a new collection, your cursor is rightly placed or clicked at the collection under which you want to create a new collection. Now, if you go back to data sources on this data map, you need to click on this plus sign and you can see that purview demo dev has a sub collection known as human resource with their description. And if I click on plus again, it is showing me test collection one, which is under human resource. It's not like that. You can just create one parent child hierarchy. You can also go back and create more collections under the same root collection. And I'm giving the name as finance, give the name finance department collection. This is the description of this collection and create and go back to data sources. This is showing you different children of this root collection. This is how you can create collections and manage them in the data map. So that is all about collections. Let's cover the other features in the next session.